Hi guys, I'm just waiting for some people to get the chance to hop on here um, so that they can ask some questions if you have any along the way. Excuse my six month old crying in the background. She's with dad, she's fine. She just sees me and wants me. She's pretty attached. Um, she's fine, she just woke up from a little nap. So don't mind her crying. So this video is going to be on how I did this printable um, iron-on tra on the transfer sheet on this onesie. <clears throat> so I'm going to start off by saying that I used, oops, I used fabric transfer sheets and this is from um, Walmart and it does include 10 white and 10 I'm sorry, 10 white fabric transfers and 5 dark fabric transfers. And they are fade resistant, resistant coating. So, if you've never used this before, it comes with both, like I said. And I only have one hand here, but... Um, so, for the white fabric transfers, it shows you how it has red lines on the back. The design on the back of the white fabric transfers is red lines so you can easily um, tell the difference between which one is for light transfers versus the dark transfers so this is for the light and then the directions for this one says how it is for the dark fabric transfers and how it has um, blue lines which obviously is these ones sorry again I have one hand so these so these are for the dark oh my goodness. Um, this is the first time I've actually seen this I haven't used this I think this is parchment paper I'm not sure so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on how we use this so I this is the one I did yesterday but I'm gonna go ahead and do another one on a size um, three onesie, which is this one right here. So I've already measured out the size I want it to be. I'm going to make it um, probably like four and a half wide. So we'll do that, four and a half wide. So let's get started. I already have the image in my design space and I've already adjusted the width to uh, 4.5 <clears throat> if you didn't hear me explain already my daughter just woke up from a nap but she's with her dad over there and it just wants me so she's crying but she's totally fine don't worry I'm not just ignoring her um, so I already have this sized here four and a half is the width and it just auto adjusted to what is that? 5.12. <clears throat> so it's already at this is the setting. It shows it's going to be a print and cut because I've already used it before. So I'm just leaving it as is. This is my printer that I'm using. A little dirty. Um, yeah, don't mind that. I should have wiped it down. <laughs> If you have any questions or comments as I'm going, please feel free to go ahead and comment below. Um, that way I can answer you as I'm recording and everything. So this is the printer. Um, and like I said, this is the red, the red um, stripes is for the light iron-on transfers. So you put the lines face up. And for this printer, you always have to have this down. Otherwise, it like stops it from going. Um, and then it has these little pull out parts where so that when it comes out it doesn't just fall out so put it like that lines face up that way when it comes in it turns but you'll see what I'm talking about so we're gonna go ahead set it like that and then click make it and I mirror it because on the let's see on the directions, it says to mirror it for the light ones. Of course, now I can't find it. It's for the blue ones. Um, it says to mirror it for light and then to not mirror it for the 
um, dark fabric ones. And it does say here, do not use with a laser printer. This is just an inkjet printer that I'm using. But yeah, for light fabric, you just mirror it. And it automatically comes up with this little border here. Um, dark one. I will do a dark one next. Uh, let me see if I have a dark shirt. Um, so all you gotta do is click it to the printer. Click it to the printer. Send to printer. And I have a wireless printer, so it's already hooked up and everything wirelessly. I take off bleed. And when you take off bleed, you can see there what it does. You guys see that? So I take it off, I turn off bleed, and then I hit print. Oh. So this is where some people were confused in the Cricut post that I had listed. I set it to custom and this is, um, what is this? An Explore Air. It's like the light blue one and white one. But here we go, you can see it printing. So yeah, I put that to custom, the Cricut to custom, and then come over here, browse, and I type in printable. Oops, sorry. Printable iron on and hit done. Okay, so that way once it's printed, it's set here, printable iron on light, since I'm doing the light one. So here we go. This is how it printed out. And like I said, it prints out these are the lines behind it, so that red light isn't or that red line is not like through it. But look how it prints out. This is just an image I saved from Google. Here, let me see if I can get a better picture here. There we go. I have a little light here, so you can see. Excuse my daughter, she's getting her diaper changed. It's like the end of the world, apparently. So, I have to prop this. This is heating up. This is my heat press. It's heating up. It's at 315 already. Um, it's already heat, heated up and ready to go. So, all I have to do is... I'm going to prep this. Um, I haven't done anything with words. Um, the, the first iron on I did was this onesie here. The one I posted yesterday. This one. Um, but I'm sure if I did something with words, found something, I could do it. I just haven't played around with it. I just really loved how this came out, so I wanted to share. Um, and you, no, you don't have to have a heat press. You could have an easy press, the Cricut one, but I opted for this. Just, I don't know, it just seemed easier for me, to be honest. I just went, I went back and forth a lot. Um, you can use an iron as well, I'm guessing. I wouldn't know for sure if that was gonna be, um, if that was gonna, if that would make it stick on well enough. So I recommend a heat press, I really like it. This is a photo ink brand. I think it's a 15 by 15. Um, I really like it. My husband got it for me on Amazon. But yeah, I'm just going to prep this quickly. Yes, I would go... If you're thinking between a heat press and an easy press, I would go for a heat press. Um, in the long run, I mean, I, in the long run, I think it's better. But then again, I haven't owned an easy press to know the difference, but I really like this. I really like how you can control the um, pressure and everything. So for thicker or thinner, you know, uh, material, you can just ad adjust the knob as needed. And of course, you know, temperature up and down or anything like that. So um, I have to prop this up so I can show you you guys how exactly I do this. So what I have to do, I cut around this, okay? Oh my goodness, the baby really wants me right now. Um, sorry, this is not how I wanted to record with her screaming. So just showing you right here, I'm just gonna cut it out. It is kind of, it is a lot of wasted um, paper in my opinion. I haven't tried to reuse this. Um, oh my gosh, you know what? 
I'm an idiot. I am such an idiot. I did not put this through the machine to cut. Mom brain right now. I am like trying to figure out why. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to have to reprint this now. Basically, this is wasted. I think. No, well, maybe not. Uh, no, it is. It's wasted. Well, not really. But for what the purpose of the video, it's wasted. Because my dumb self forgot to put it through the Cricut machine to cut out. So, mom brain right now to the fullest. So, let me just show you again for those that, for the person that did not, was on, uh, on here. I apologize for my daughter screaming her head off. Dad has her. She's fine. She's totally fine. She just wants me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and reprint this. Apologies. Gosh. It's Friday and I have mom brain like to the fullest right now. Okay, so. Going to reprint that again. Again. Now, let me grab my mat this time so that I don't forget to put it on. <sighs> okay, checking the stickiness of it. This is one I just cleaned the other day. <sighs> all right, so all done. There we go. Not gonna forget this time to put it on the mat to get cut. And I have one hand right now, so let me just put this down really quickly. So this is how it um, looks on the mat right here. Let's turn this around. And I've already put the machine to custom and printable vinyl or printable iron on light. So I'll just put it here. Oh my goodness. Anyone else have a very needy six month old? <sighs> She's been changed, she's fed, she had a little nap. Yes, you have to mirror it with the light. Okay, let's hit go. And so for those of you who don't know, that little box around it, it like reads it, okay? So it basically reads, you'll see. So that light, I guess it lights up when it does the, um, the reading, I guess you could call it. She really wants me right now. Yes, I also have a two year old, but she's a little, she's content right now. It's just the baby, baby. I think it's because I'm breastfeeding. She's pretty attached to me. But here you go, you can see it cutting out pretty intricately. Justin, just bring her over here. And those little thin, those super, 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 super thin parts, it is cutting like around it. So you can see Jalen, Jalen. Okay. Hold on one second. Hold on. I'm not using a deep blade or anything like that. So it is going to take a minute. Jalen, Jalen, come on. What's the problem? What is the problem?
Hi, Mary. I'm just showing how I'm cutting it out right now. It's cutting, you can see it's cutting these really thin lines right here. Let me, it's really cutting along those little edges right there without ripping it. All right, so now that it's done, you can see here, cut it all out. Um, just go ahead. I have my husband helping me since I'm currently feeding the baby. Take it off the mat. You saw how he cut it last night, right? I got the material from Walmart. Um, Mary, as long as it's an inkjet, I would think it works. HP dust shot. I would think so. As long as it's not a laser printer. That's what it says. Do not use a laser. Um, so, Dust, can you go ahead and cut this out? Cut it right here. Just like I did that one. I did, I did, if you're just tuning in right now, I cut this one like an idiot myself. And because I forgot to put it on the mat and cut, get it cut. So, that one is a waste. So, that's why I'm recutting it. Well, I did recut it. So, yeah, cut it, cut around it. So I cut off the excess. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to get that close. It's okay. And then remember, you just gotta weed out the rest. It's right there. I don't know, it's right there. In the cup. Oh, sorry, is it? Is it still breaking up? Go ahead. So he's just mm -hmm. gonna weed out, yeah. So this is the part that I did not know you, is what, like, that's what you do. Just try not to, just be very, very careful, yeah. So you can lay that back down, see? Like the little parts around it, it's not cutting it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, that part might be a little tricky. Yeah, basically the rest of it. And then, so all the unwanted parts. You try and go under the light. There you go. All right. This is the thing I did not know about when I did one, like a long time ago, messing around with it. And I left the white outer ring on it and it came out terrible i'll show it to you at the end of this video but it was a mini mouse one i was just playing with and i was like oh it's gonna leave a white ring around it remember the mini one i did mm -hmm. that was not how it was supposed to be it was supposed to be done like this so it's super super thin so you have to be really careful especially when i think when working with the thin stuff but like look at the wreath is super thin right there, but it's still cut it out pretty nicely. And then the middle. Yeah. And then it cuts out the middle. So this is also another thing I didn't know before. I thought the middle part would stay. Yeah, it's super, super thin there. 
I thought the sur the white middle part would stay and you just layer on top of it, but no, it actually comes off. I think what really helps is that if you don't have a super, super detailed and small um, floral wreath, is that part that stuck? Oh yeah, see there's little, little parts like that that can come out too. Um, check, is there another spot like that or no? Uh -huh. Did I turn off? No, that didn't cut out. I think that's it. Uh -huh. Okay, so next is just laying it, laying it. You wanna record? Or what do you wanna do? Watch your finger. So I've already prepped this. All you do, since I've mirrored it, I mean, it's a floral wreath. You don't really have to do it any specific way. It's gonna come out fine. Um, lay it flat like that. And I'm sitting down so I can't really um, make sure it's centered. Ah, no. Okay, this is not gonna be perfect. I already know that. Is that centered? I can't tell from sitting. Ooh, excuse you. Okay, and this, this came with my heat press. I'm not sure what it's called. It's a, like a Teflon mat. Teflon? I don't think this is Teflon. I don't know, if you know what this is called, let me know, but it came with the heat press. All right, go ahead, press it down. And it's already set at 315, temp-wise, and 15 for 15 seconds. Yes, Teflon sheet. Thanks, Mary. I never, it, there, like, I don't think any directions came with this thing, so I didn't know what it was really called. 15 seconds. Go ahead. It, it has to press more. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think we have to adjust the um, the pressure. So, he's going to do that. I hate the sound that it makes when you pull it up. It's a little ridiculous. Press it off. Huh? Pull it, pull it off. Why did it come out like that? See, I didn't have this issue yesterday. Hold on. Put it down. Mary's saying go a bit up and temp maybe. See, I that's weird because I did this the exact same way yesterday for this onesie. Move out for this onesie and it came out perfectly fine and now it's hmm Maybe it's that sheet. Oh. no it's the same exact sheet try it again press it again to try 325 want to put it up in temp maybe i wonder if it needs to be 30 seconds i read it no, there's something wrong with this one see it came out good up here oh it's the pressure it needs to be more up then okay no no leave it leave it leave it there, yeah, remember how like, like the yeah, the well, that's probably my issue. I just didn't want the buttons. We don't want the buttons to get. Okay, I think that was the issue. Because it came out totally fine yesterday. Well, the one I did yesterday here is a newborn. This is three months, so it's a little bigger. Hey, you. All right, hopefully this works
Okay, it's not perfect. Okay, well, that's probably because I messed up the first time. So the bottom section didn't get enough pressure. It was yeah, so low. that's my mistake. You have to be sure to have it centered to get enough even pressure when pressing this, which is what my issue just was right now. Oh, 0400. Oh, wow. I didn't try 400. I thought I just didn't want to burn it or melt it, you know? So I guess I'll try um, Jocelyn. I'll try that next time just to see, um, you know, how much better it works. But it came out good on the upper part right here. It's just this bottom part that goofed up a little bit because of the pressure. So other than that, I think it came out fine. Not as good as yesterday's, which came out great. And this is a close-up of it that you can see. It, it, um, there we go. The colors are pretty vibrant. And this, again, this is for the light one. And this is this one. So that is how you do a iron-on transfer. Again, this is the... Let me get it. Sorry, I'm one-handed right now. Ah! These are the fabric sheets that I got from Walmart, which include 10 white fabric transfers and five dark fabric transfers. And I will go ahead and try to play around with a, um, a dark one, like I said. So um, hopefully this helped somebody. Let me just take a second really quickly to turn it around. Ah! Yes, practice does make perfect. I am by no means perfect at all. I am a visual learner and just wanted to try to help um, somebody else by actually seeing someone else do it because I didn't see many videos on YouTube about it. Um, but yes, I hope this helps somebody. I hope this helps somebody as much as it helped me. Sorry, the video is very uh, loud with her crying, but now that she's fed, she's fine and content. This is Jalen. She's a little rough right now. <laughs> she doesn't like me working. Um, I appreciate anyone who watched the live and um, stuck through it all and wanted to um, learn with me. Like I said, I'm no pro at this. I just did the one onesie last night and I fell in love with how it looked and how vibrant it was. Um, and my cousin just had a baby, so I'm going to put the, her baby's name in the middle um, and send it to her. But I just wanted to share with everybody, so hopefully this helps somebody. Say bye-bye. Someone said you're beautiful. Say thank you. Say thank you. Six months old. <laughs> Say bye-bye. All right, thanks guys for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your night and good weekend. It's Friday. Go ahead and enjoy. All right, goodbye guys.